Yo, what is going on you guys? It is your boy Ice Pop here, back with Spider-Man on the PlayStation 4 in our short-lived series. In the last episode, we basically helped Dr. Octavius, we did some Peter Parker science-y stuff, and now we're back as Spider-Man, trying to fix some Oscorp surveillance stuff. And I guess we have to descramble some stuff. So here we go. So I have to... Oh. Oh. I am not really sure what I'm doing. So taller, yes. Wider, how do we get wider? Oh, there we go, kind of. That's about as close as it's gonna get. Oh! There we go. <laughs> okay, that's pretty interesting. They have some little cool features here and there in the game. That's cool. We just had a tower come back online. Was that you? Not just a pretty mask, huh? Whatever you did, any chance you could do it to the other towers? Sure, but just so you know, I had to sync up with the tower to fix it. I'm seeing all crime data in the area now. Looks like there's a break-in happening near me. Great. I've got units nearby. Don't bother. I'm on it. Yeah, I am. Okay, let's go. Uh, over there. Over there. Oof. Can I be sneaky? Do it. Watch my back. Pretty sure these guys didn't forget their keys. Well, I think I saw this at E3. If this is the thing, then I can be stealthy with. Oh, nope. Enemies with melee weapons block most attacks, but are vulnerable to air, launch, and webs and throwables. So hold square, knock them in the air. Okay. Boom. Okay. What's up, dude? Who's watching your back? Your homies are just standing there. Oof. I forgot my health is... Actually, I got more health than the last level up. But I still lose it really fast, because I'm on a high difficulty. We're going to get that combo up, because we're in the air. Oof. Missed me with that. This looks like it'll hurt. There we go. Wow. That's like a concussion right there. Boom! And heal it up. Is that it? We start the break in. Cool. Okay, wrapped up. Yay. Now I'm seeing an assault near you. An You're assault. Love, Your favorite tough but lovable grizzled seen too much detective is in town. What? No, 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 no. You promised you wouldn't do that any spider cop. Please no. <laughs> what was that about? That's funny. Over here, sorry dude, there's a a thing happening. That I am evidently not... Oh, this is cool. You could do this in the GameCube game, too. Can I be sneaky about it? So you're the snitch. Back off, creep. Yep, she's the one. I said back off! Leave me alone! Keep me quiet, lady. Don't touch me! I do not like where this is going. Leave her alone. Brutes will block your melee attacks. Use webs and throwables to make them vulnerable. Okay. Whew. I'm guessing that big dude's the brute. Oh, like Wilson. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I see you now. Whoops, wrong guy. Whew. Gotta dodge that guy. Okay. Whew. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going, bro? Nope, trying to get the other guy. Oh! Yikes. Nope, not the time, not the time, not the time. Oh, what happens now? I was trying to swing and grab the other thing. But dude just kept wailing at me. I didn't expect that. 
That's a dope angle. I'm gonna keep that in the video. But look at this. Such short loading times. That is amazing. I love that so much. Get away from her. Okay, round two. Yep. Got that. Gotta make sure... He is in the air, or not in the air, he doesn't go in the air. I gotta throw stuff at him or else he blocks stuff. Whew. You I can fight in the air. Oh, wow. That was really bad. Oh, you need webs. Oh. I keep pressing square like... He keeps wailing at me, relax! All right, heal time. And you are going in the air. Need more focus energy. Well, that was a multi-hit. Very nice. And you're not going anywhere. I can't dodge enough. What the heck? Give me that focus bar. Oh, then I was gonna heal, but I guess I did it. Walk away now. Oh. Oh, snap. Save the hostage before time runs out. Use L to aim and press R1 to disarm them. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Wow. All clear, ma'am. I knew Jameson was wrong about you. You're a little weird, but you got a good heart. <laughs> she called me weird. You got somewhere to go? I can take care of myself. I I'm sure you can, but just in case, there's a place called the Feast Center. Seen it. I don't want charity. They got the best wheat cakes in the city, hands down. Ooh. Mom used to make those. Haven't had any in a long time. I'll check it out. Thanks, Spider Guy. Feast, that's cool. Spider Man. No. Wow. Should be able to spot the next tower from up there. Alright, so, you know what? Wait, hang on. Hold towards the wall. Oh yeah, I already learned that by accident, so. I think we're going to activate this last tower. Elevated position. Spider cop spies his destination. <laughs> Second surveillance tower. Are you narrating yourself? What? No, of course not. The chief never did understand spider cop. Thought he was a loose kid. Already regretting this. <laughs> Peter, keep it up, bro. There's a YouTuber called Hishi, or How It Should Have Ended, and he always does like videos for Spider-Man, and there's always a kid like, are you monologuing? So I thought that was pretty funny. Almost like a reference there or something. But I gotta arrange the thing? Oh, get up to it, okay. I these towers to track more than just crimes. Kind of wiggling, see what happens. Well, that's close. There we go. Just kind of got to wiggle around and see what happens. Okay. Scan a new area, have more access. Very nice. Protect even more people. Always a good goal. Score. Towers are picking up all kinds of RFID signals now, including one nearby. Ooh. What is that? Not sure exactly what they're referring to, but I'm actually going to end it here and give the review for Spider-Man PS4. So here we go. Alright, so if you guys are brand new to the short-lived series, at the end of roughly 5 episodes or less, depending on how long I think the game deserves episodes, 5 typically being the max, I rate the games on 5 criteria of the story, the gameplay, the variety, the artistic style, and the music. And so without further ado, the first category is the story. So within a few episodes, we literally have seen Spider-Man live his life, a little bit of Peter Parker in the beginning of the game when he was in his Spider-Man underwear. Love attention to detail right there. That we learned that Spider-Man has been Spider-Man for eight years. So assuming like high school, now he might be in college or post-college. Because I think in comics he becomes Spider-Man in high schoolish age. And so we learn a lot about kind of the world. We know there's... Even a little thing like Feast that we just learned. That seems like a charity thing that helps people out. So we're going to give the story for this game so far 5 out of 5. I imagine the story gets even more complex and more 
innovative, but just from the first few episodes and the first impressions in the short-lived series, I believe the story deserves 5 out of 5. And next we have the gameplay. So just to bring something up real quick, let me see if I can find the menu. Oh, it's th this button, right. So we have different types of skills. So there's so many controls we can do in this game. And even from there, we can evolve, get more, choose. Now, all the stuff, we web swing, we beat people up, we do little puzzles here and there. Gameplay has to be a 5 out of 5. There's so much variety, and it's so fluid, and wow. I got nothing else. It's honestly, gameplay is just fantastic in this game. I'm loving it. The web swinging is super fluid and fun. It's what you'd expect or what you'd desire from a Spider-Man game. Very fun, and you can even just do things like this. Just why not? You get that Spider-Man perch pose. Pretty awesome. Yeah, gameplay 5 out of 5. So for variety, it's kind of hard to say because the game is early on, but luckily it has shown us a bunch of different stuff. So as Spider-Man, you have different ways of traveling. You could climb on walls, you can run, you can just swing, you can jump when you fight, you can beat people up, you can hit them in the air. When you're in the air, you can fight people. The variety is so great in this game. I'm giving that 5 out of 5 as well because there's just so much to do so far. And look at this. You could literally explore basically all of this. And what you see is loaded in. I have yet to run into a loading screen. That's like, while you're traveling, it's fantastic. So, Variety, I'm giving it 5 out of 5. And so, for music, I am going to give it a 4 out of 5. Because I think the music is cool. I like the song in the beginning. It's very Spider-Man-y vibed. And I really like that. That was pretty cool. And so, yeah, the mood of it fitting and everything is great. I don't want to say it's perfect. I don't know what they could improve. But I really do like it, so for the music, I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. Very enjoyable. I don't think any of the music is dull. It all fits pretty well. But I'm giving it a 4 out of 5 because I feel like I've been really, really, feel like I've been very generous in every other category. And so, yeah, I think 4 out of 5, it's great. I wouldn't say it should win nominations and awards for best music ever, but it's definitely very great. Then for the artistic style, I'm also going to give that a 4 out of 5 because, I mean, they're not doing too much interesting so far aside from the fact that they've created a city, which is so cool. It's beautiful. Even the face of that girl, I forgot her name, is like Yuri or something. But her face looked great. Our suit looks great. You can see how there's like smoke coming out of a rusty looking vent. You can see a sunset over there. Beautiful. So the artistic style is 4 out of 5. So I don't th I would give it 5 out of 5 if it really pushed brand new concepts of like maybe this was in the year I don't know like 2500 or something. I don't know. But since it's modern day, it's nothing crazy, but it's beautiful. So I'm giving it 4 out of 5. And overall, I'm going to give the entire game 24 out of 25. I gave it one extra credit point just because it's Spider-Man and I love it so much. So one extra credit point for a grand total of 24 out of 25, which is a 96% or an A+. This game is amazing. It's been out for a while and I've finally been able to get a chance to play it. If you're wondering whether you should get it or not, Hopefully these first few episodes have convinced you to yes buy the game or this final total of an A plus game should convince you to buy it. So that has been Spider-Man on the PlayStation 4 for a short lived series. Thank you guys so much for watching and hope to see you in another video.